Hi scholars! Today's book is called Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. It's by Doreen Cronin and the pictures are Betsy, by Betsy Lewin. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. My kindergarten friends are going to know that click and clack start with L blend words. That means that L goes with another consonant and they blend sounds together in the beginning of words like click and clack and clam and cloud. Ready? Okay. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Excellent spelling, too, I might add. You may remember the periods and uppercase letters. Nice job. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike, and they left another note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Oh, look at the shadow of Farmer Brown. He does not seem pleased. No milk today, cried the Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Another notice, I'm sure. The next day, he got another note. Oh, what a good prediction I made. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are too cold. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Hmm. Wonder what happens when the hens go on strike. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. <gasps> no eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Whoever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious, which is fancy for mad. Farmer Brown got out his typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Hmm. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown the note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Let's see if that works. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Oh, they look so cozy in those warm blankets. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. What do you think happens? They got their diving board. What a super fun story. I like that a lot. All right, down below, like you know, there's a lot of cross-curricular activities that involve farm animals. I hope you enjoy it, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.